It's just one day. As much as people think about their whole life, if they can go back and think about each day. The time is now. On everything. What happened in that day? What difference did you make in that day? How was your day? The final words will be. This was a day in a life. It's one day, haha, <laughs> it's one day. By the hook or by the crook, I'll be leading out the way. Mark my words and what I say, I'll be there just one day. Cause I'm never here to play, so today is that day. It's one day, it's one day. So it is another day in your life, you know. It's been how many months now? Nine? Five? Six? Yeah, we started in Cape Town. Went to Zim. Now we are back in Cape Town, you know. Finally we managed to get a, a girl in field, you know. One of the finest, you know. She's the best, you know, when it comes to the under-18s in the country, you know. But it's not for me to say, you know. It's for, it's for you to see through this documentary. It's early in the morning, 57 o'clock in Fit, you know. 7 a.m. Fit, we are hustling for this day in your life, you know. We are about to wake up, who are some Fit. So let's get in Fit, you know. She's still awake in Fit, you know. Hello. Hello, Sisi. Yere, ufugale eti, eh? Uh, my name is Asam Gele Nongwendi. Um, I'm 18 years old. Um, I'm in grade 11. She's a street girl, say to me. That's what I can say. She, she was never a gangster, you know. She was never a gangster. But on the court, she's a hardcore gangster, say to me. I play basketball because it keeps me out of trouble and it, it, it keeps my time and I, I don't have to run around the streets and doing nothing. At least, at least I have something to do. We've got nothing to do in the hood. As I told you, there's guns, there's beers, there's drugs. But with basketball, you become safe here, you know. You don't have nothing to do at home, you just come here and just bore, you know. And then everybody who sees you out there, you become a, a role model, you become a mentor. Hi, my name is Asam Kelelongwe, and this is a day in my life. It's one day, it's one day. It's a day in a life. It's a day in a life. It's a day in a life. You must be crazy to know what the outlaw is. <laughs> It's happening, bra, for the first time in the lifetime of Hoops of Hope. We've got Zim, South Africa in one place, bra. This is crazy. The boy who's holding this camera is coming all the way from Zim. Yeah! I first met Lala in 2010 while I was volunteering for an NGO called Hoops for Hope. Although we came from very different backgrounds, we connected right away through the passion we share for basketball. It is because of this connection I made through Hoops for Hope that I was able to make this film. Yo, what are we up to? I'm just walking my kids to school uh, in Kailitsa. Yeah, okay. 
I was taken aback by the love I was shown any time I stepped foot in the townships. But this story isn't about me. It's about hoops and how it provides hope. Hoops for Hope was started back in 1995 by this young man from New York named Mark Crandall. I think this is pretty much everything that we believe in. Um, you've got believe, you've got leadership, you've got skills, you've got smile, you've got talking, you've got fairness, motivation. You've got Zimbabwe, you've got South Africa, creating freedom through sport. <clears throat> That's really um, our motto. It began as a small basketball clinic in the township surrounding Cape Town to becoming one of the top providers of HIV awareness and life skills in South Africa and in Zimbabwe, reaching over 10,000 kids using basketball as a vehicle to teach the life skills. Lala, being considered one of the top coaches Hoops for Hope had to offer, was appointed as the manager in charge of training other coaches on how to get through to the kids. Danger, danger, danger. Trouble, trouble. Let us be spontaneous. Eh? If I say danger, you must very quick change your, your answer and give me another one. Because you are so beautiful, so smart. What else? Yo, Lindy Lekete, Lo, Mpena, Unoko, Yuka, Blukulu, Malamba, Diane. That's my trouble name, you know. Before I was involved with Hoops of Hope, you know, I fell in love with the basketball. Back in Kailicha. Back in Kailicha, Lala lives with about two million neighbors in the second largest township in South Africa. On this day, Lala invited me back to his place. Where, where are we going right now? Where are we? Obvious, we're going to my crib, eh? We're in Harare, bro, not Zimbabwe. This is South Africa, Kailicha 7784. Yeah, bro. Yo, welcome to my crib. There you go. This is my crib, son. That is right there. 7784, Kassilam, this is my hood. Yeah. Check how I open my door, bruh. Please don't show no one to America and come and rob my house. <laughs> this, is how you do this, shit. this is the safest place we can be on earth. I'm telling you. You tell me crime is high in South Africa? That's bull. Bull, my friend. That's bull. Welcome to the dungeon. <laughs> this is where all the trouble starts. Yeah. Uh, my friend, you look here. We are proud. South Africa for life, my friend. Zanti, represent. No, sir. I plan to have a chauffeur. And it seems to me this chopping crack is really going nowhere. Therefore, they call me. I infect you with the real. That's the people I say, hectic guys. So sick. Ask it out. My door, bro. Please don't show no one to other can come and rock my house. And rock my house. And rock my house. Rock my house. Around five in the morning, it was a misty morning. Dark, you know. I heard someone pushing my door. When I opened my door. The only thing I saw was the light, a bright light, you know, more like a torch and a gun in my face. They come in while Lala was sleeping. They come in and then they put a gun in his hair. And they were telling me stories to make me scared as to someone send them to come and kill me. And then I told them, this time, it's enough because they, I will lose my son. At that point in time, that's, that's the time where you had to pray. You had to pray. And uh, as much as you know, to the believer, you gotta ask God, you know, to take out his hand you know, and save you, and save you, and save you. After staying in touch with Lala over the past year, in October of 2011, I went back to South Africa with a new camera and a new idea. Showcase a regular day in the lives of top young basketball players from South Africa and Zimbabwe. But first, let's spend a day with Coach Lala. <laughs> Me. 
Now we leave here. You have a shack in the back, and then the shack is safe. The land of the original man is black and beautiful. I love the way I'm from, from Africa. Well, ghetto is ghetto, but all my ghetto children still smile without a dime. From Africa, I let my ancestors' presence be felt when I scream all power to the people. I represent one out of many that matter. So when I said it, understand it's for my people. So get it, the Zion train. Bala built a new shack behind his mama's house. It appeared to look a lot like his old shack. And Lala, well, he was still the same guy. Do I wear these ones or do, do I wear the red ones? Huh? Uh, Which are the These ones are the red ones. First day, first day must... Fuck, look, look, look at my muscles, I've got muscles, eh? Check, man. Check, man. <laughs> I just say, there's the coach right there. What? There's the coach right there. There's the good coach. That's me. Yeah. Morning, you know. Getting ready. Going to these coaching clinics. Being run by the government. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hope it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, this is our first major day, you know. We had good times, you know. If you follow our life, you know, you go to our blog. <laughs> What have you done to my donor? Here we go. Safety is the key. Safety is the key. Yeah, man, we're rolling, we're rolling, we're rolling. Oh, that's like 7.30. We're out of here. Have you met my dog? This is my dog, Bully. This is a big boy, you know. Keep us safe. It's keeping the house safe, you know. Right. Going to U U University of the Western Cape. To run these coaching clinics. Hope we're gonna have fun, you know. We will never say it's a last minute thing. As much as we were told yesterday. <laughs> but life over here works day by day, you know. Every second counts. Every second counts. This would be the first time Lala coached since being robbed and leaving Hoops for Hope. They started to clean my crib, you know, like take everything, like everything I had. They robbed my, my identity. They robbed my ego. They robbed my passion, you know. They robbed, they robbed me, you know. I mean, for me, it's been like three years or two years without doing any sort of stuff like this, you know, ever since I left Hoops, you know, through my reasons, you know. Who cares? I'm here. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. change it right say for example you went and rob a house and then you get caught and the police say you must go to jail no no say no 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 I didn't do it but you were caught there right why are we cheating life now I mean you, huh? you got those guys you know give you a second chance. through talking you know they help people you know they heal people you know they empower you know they motivate yeah. you know so in life you feel that it that, that, that is your calling. That is your calling. Yeah. You ah, every day, every day. You know there are days where I feel like today I did empower someone. You know I did make a difference. You know? We're all living in the hard situation. There's tea around. The cigarettes. You know there's AIDS. But we are the answer. 
You are the one who's gonna change your family's lives. You are the one who's gonna put your community in the map. You are the one. You are the chosen one. And basketball is the way. Basketball is the way. This is the first time, or it might, it might be the, the last time I see you, right? But one thing for sure, I know someone is listening there. Someone is going to take these words and use them. One, two, three. Family! Done. I do it for hip hop. I do it for hip hop. Come inside, bro. Come inside. Come inside. Meet my people. Meet my people. I'm a pimp, you know. I got cameraman working with me. There's my family inside. There's my family. There's my family. It's happening right here tonight. 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 Thank you, Lord. Show, show, show. Are you on to me? Are you on to me? Meet my sister-in-law. Officially, you know. Officially, did it. Officially. Officially. When I first met Lala in 2010, we had joked about going to Zimbabwe together and seeing the Hoops for Hope programs run there. At the time, I'm not sure either of us truly believed that this dream would become a reality. Now, a year and a half later, it was. I never left my country in my life. Getting to Zim for me was exciting. What do you think about me and Lala going to Zimbabwe and our trip and everything? Okay, I will talk with Kosa. Yeah, you can talk in Kosa. Yeah, we are cool, but we only a man of Lala is here in Zimbabwe. The blessing of Kuru Kumu and Doleo. I can't believe it. I guess you don't know the day we're about to leave to Zim. I think it was like two hours before our flight to Joburg. My mom got a call. My grandma has passed away. And my mom knew, you know, what my life was all about that time. We had everything planned. We had ticket booked, buses from Joburg to Zim. Already we had the tickets. Bags were packed. And when she told me, everything stopped. That was the saddest day in my life. Because my grandma was my mom at first. But hey, we made a decision to go to Zim. That uh, I had to go. I had to go. In my life, you know, tough money. It's been a tough journey. I won't talk about it, but hey, yeah. It's life. It's life. What won't hurt you will make you stronger. I think this will be the call for us to make things happen. Our call to make things happen became quite difficult as we tried to cross the border to Zimbabwe. Our flight to Joburg was, was a hell of a, a flight, you know. There was turbulence. We, we, we thought we were going to die. Everyone in the flight, you know, thought we were going to die. And when I look back and what happened, you know, on that day that I decided, you know, when I got the bad news that I'm going to go to Zim, you know, and leave my family behind, that's when I realized that Africa is very much divided. We had to be sent back, you know, from the Zimbabwean border back to South African border. I thought we were rich, only to find out in Zim they're using um, US dollars, US dollars. And uh, we, we didn't have enough. But yeah, it was a journey. And we missed the pass to Harare. We missed the pass to Harare. We had to get a hike. You know a hike? We had to get a hike, you know, or a ride from a random person, you know. But we managed to get three good guys. <laughs> This car behind me, uh, they came and picked us up and they take us all the way to Harare. Three loving, giving Zimbabweans showing us that Zimbabwe love. And I mean, man, it's just a blessing to be here.
like I said, I'm excited about you coming over here, Lala, uh, because it's important for people to travel and get exposure. And the good thing about doing that is it allows you to see what you don't have as a person and as a country and what you do have so that you can go back and appreciate what you have, work on what you don't have, and that's how we improve ourselves. The world begins where we are born, but it's a wide, wide world out there that we must discover. And for me, whatever people were t telling me about Zimbabwe in South Africa, it's all lies. South Africans, you need to come to Zimbabwe. Africa, you need to come to Zimbabwe. I'm in the Kejo. I'm in DZ. In DZ, Coach Ngoni coaches the men's and the women's team, as well as the women's national team. On top of all of this, he is the Hoops for Hope director in charge of running basketball and life skill programs for about 10,000 kids across Zimbabwe. Let's see what he's doing with the ball. Yeah. We're leaving him to the ball. He can do whatever he wants to do with the ball. And we're saying, go for it, my man. Mm. From young ones to the old ones, um, uh, you know, it's an entertainment um, sport. You find that uh, most of the young ones right now spend their time at the courts and uh, the, it reduces crime, it, it's helping to reduce crime in the country because, you know, they come and play and get tired, then they go back home, you know, they would have avoided so many negative things for the country. Rebound, work hard, work together as a team, sit down together, and talk. Day in their life, day two, it's over. More to come. After seeing the love for the game in Zimbabwe, we decided to spend a day with arguably the best player in the country, Tatenda Matura. I was the one to be rating Zimbabwe's basketball. I would say he's probably the best. Who's your best player? Why? Dummy, number six from Raiders. He works hard off, the, off and on the ball. He's everywhere. He's the perfect all-rounder. A day in your life with Tiatenda Maturu, one of the finest. He's the dream future for Zimbabwean basketball. It's a day in your life. Did you steal this car? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> no, it's my mom's car. Uh-huh. It's using just that. Okay. So we have to do something so that it's... Since I've observed no one can dunk like him in our country, I've seen him dunk, I've seen him dunk on people. There's this dunk, um, like, I'm not, they call it the windmill. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. the windmill. We have a big game against the Varsity, and uh, the Varsity are always that team that is always dying to beat the Raiders. Today was more than just a regular day for Tatenda. He had a playoff game coming up and felt pressure to perform well, as this was one of the only chances he's ever had to play in front of a video camera. My name is Tatenda Mature, aka Dummy. Welcome to the day of my life. After spending about a month in Zimbabwe, it was time for Lala to go home and put a stone on his grandmother's grave. I know it's going to be tough for me going back there, you know, because I still have to go to the graveyard, you know. It's been great to be on this dog, but it's time for me to live. Day in the life, living that day. So it was up to me to do what we thought would be the final day in a life, with the starting center for the under-16 national team, Francisca Sacchetti. Come on, 
is the day in a life. Although school is out for the summer, Francisca still gets up early to put in work on the court. Morning, Yali. Morning to your love. That morning, bright and early, Tatenda shows up to work out with Francisca. What's your relation with her? She's my best best friend. <laughs> my best friend and my teammate. Morning, my darling. She's a friend of mine and my best friend. <laughs> yeah. Morning, Francisca. How are you, Dami? I'm okay. Before Francisca can join Dami on the court, she must do her chores which are usually reserved for the woman of the house. The sleeping giant science art is your creation. I dreamt that we could visit old Kimmet. Your history is too complex and rigid. For some Western critics, they want the whole subject diminished. But Africa's the origin of all the world's religions. We praise bridges that carry the sober. The battle for... I'm lucky because the basketball court is just close for my home. Is it your second home? No, this is my fifth home, because this is my dream. Africa must wake up, the sleeping sons of Jacob, for what tomorrow may bring. May a better day come, this the day we workings. Can you tell me, young ones, who are we today? Yeah, now. Well, Africa must wake up, the sleeping sons of Jacob, for what tomorrow may bring. May a better day come, this the day we workings. Can you tell me, young ones, who are we today? Now can we all pray, each in his own way, teaching and learning, we can work it out. We love a warm bed, we love some warm bread. Welcome to the day of my life. We can work it out, Mother Nature feeds all, in farming and drought, tell those selfish in ways not to share us out. After spending about two and a half months in Africa, I had run out of money and had to leave the continent. Five months later, I returned to Kailiche to once again stay with Lala and finish the film. When I got there, he introduced me to one of the top female ballers in all of South Africa, Asa. It's a day in a life. Faith is another day in a life, you know. It's been how many months now? Nine, five, six, you know. Yeah, we started in Cape Town, went to Zim. Now we are back in Cape Town, you know. Oh, hi, my name is Asam Kelelongwendu, and this is a day in my life. Now, besides basketball, I work at a sugar finally. I work eight hours a day and looking back to what I get like at work, if I had a family maybe I won't be able to take out the family because I don't get enough at work. So the best player in Zimbabwe spends his time off the court working the graveyard shift at a sugar refinery. He told me that he gets paid about $200 a month, which works out to be about one dollar and twenty-five cents per hour. I feel proud of him, and uh, only the problem is that with basketball here in Zimbabwe, it's, it's not being sponsored like football. Because right now here in Zimbabwe, you get no sponsorship. There's nothing for you maybe to be a better player, but just to play for for the game because it's day uh, after work. I'll go for my basketball practice, basketball session. You know, night will be falling at the time. So then I don't have time to hang around with friends, even my own friends, my personal friends. If it wasn't for basketball, I should have been a better person right now. But because of the love and passion of the sport, and I think basketball then is my drug and my beer. Now I'm in my hood, man. Oh, come to my house. At the time, 
his house, along with the rest of the community, has no power. So even if there was food in the fridge, it wouldn't stay cold. There's nothing in it. You take us in. There's nothing in it. Just water and fish devil. Right. The water from the chair will come late evening, maybe 11 p.m. And then goes back at 5 p.m. When the water comes back, like the time it comes, we throw it in the bottles and then we keep it to maybe 1 a.m. Because that's when the water like comes out and you jump out. Before I played basketball, I used to to be in the streets and I didn't have anything to do. Now that I'm playing basketball, I, I at least I, I have something to do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I know I must be at practice at four, and I, I, I can't be late. I have to be there. Basketball has really changed my life, and my family now sees me as a sport girl, and everyone knows me as uh, the basketball girl, and uh, and I like that. I, I don't want to rely only in basketball. I don't want to to play basketball only. I want to have my my, my degrees, and I'm gonna focus on my school first, and then basketball. Kerry, do you like so much? You like her? Yeah, she seems nice. And I also like the uh, planets our solar system. It's a really nice thing. I like looking at it like at night because I would like to study something that has to do with that. Mm. Yeah. I fell in love with basketball because of my uncle. He was a great player. He was the one who coached my school. So he's the one who took me and introduced me to basketball. When he passed away, I was... I was 14 years old. And I could feel there was no one who was going to teach me how to play better. I just felt like... I'm no more anybody in life. I think... I thought that my, my career was over. Dealing with the situation, you know, I can't keep on thinking of someone who's already gone. I had to find a coach, I had to find a personal coach. The coach is the club coach where I'm playing right now, I'm going to Gukula. The Hoops World Director for Zimbabwe is the one who took me and then he made me like from where I was to where I am right now. Yeah. He's my hand. He's my leading hand right now. The character is one of the most promising and the one with the vast potential. Mm. Who's really playing great basketball right now in the country. Mm. And uh, we are honored to have uh, such a, you know, as a coach to have such a bunch of okay. basketball players around. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my home. After having some porridge for lunch, Titenda comes over once again for an afternoon workout with Francisca. Maybe if we go along together, maybe if we, if we practice together, something will come up. Like, in my game, there's something that I don't get right. Yeah, maybe she gets it right. So, we have to share, Francisca. 
gonna make it to the best. Yeah. She's gonna true. be she's gonna <laughs> be playing in the WNBA and I'm gonna be playing in the NBA. Stay. You know how the time flies only Yesterday was the time of our lives We were born and raised in a summer My tata we buy a uing. Now we have a pull up. A pull up short. Boom. Switch. As some girl, patience, precious, no way. To fake. One on one. La doom! Hey, cheers. I'm Tabo Marutula. I'm the coach of these two national players. I don't want to say I made them, they make themselves, you know, it's, it's the thing that they love, you know. For them, they think I don't benefit, I do, because the neighborhood is very rough. There's lots of drugs, there's lots of alcohol, but even for me, I get to be safe, you know. I just come in the, into the court, I, I work with them, they help me become safe, because all my time, I spend them with them. You know, I feel proud as a, not just as a coach, you know, but as a community member that these come from these gutters behind me and from this court, you know, we practice in the outdoor, if it rains, there's no practice, but they've managed through all those years, you know, with the help of Hoof So Hope, you know, having taught them life skills. Life skills, I would say, life skills are the one that is helping us most. Asa, even now today, yes, she's young as a player, but she has also coached, you know, within the program. She has been a volunteer of Hoops for Hope for the past four or five years. The reason why I started playing basketball, I played, I played basketball through Hoops for Hope. I, I'm an MVP there. They teach us life skills like uh, how to see if you have HIV, you, you go to the clinic, they teach us stuff like that how to prevent HIV. So our jobs as MVPs, we need to go to, to the primaries and teach the kids there. We, we must teach them basketball and life skills. You cannot just play basketball. We need to be aware of things around you because uh, basketball can be nothing because if a, a, a girl don't know how to protect herself, she can get pregnant and she can stop playing basketball because she was not aware of how to, to protect herself. A child is, 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 is the president of tomorrow. If you teach a child now, the, 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 the thing you, you taught the kid now is going to stay there forever. And if the one child influences the other, all the children will have the same mentality of a healthy living in South Africa, and that's going to help a lot. I started that Hoops over now is 11 years old. Mm. Then what I got from Hoops up is it's a family. It's a place where you can make yourself happy, you know how it is. I came a long way from Upswa. That's all I can say. So if it's a million, half of my money, Upswa, that's all I can say. Providing this fund has become quite difficult for Hoops for Hope founder Mark Crandall, who's been funding the program through small donations he's collected for the past 17 years from his hometown in East Hamptons, New York. But I hope a lot with crumbs over long term is better than one sandwich that never comes back. The nature of the world right now is that a lot of people need help and there's a lot of great organizations out there trying to help people. But as we can see from protests, people are having a hard time helping themselves. And it's, 
got a lot harder to actually do what we do on the ground. Uh, you've seen it because you've gone over there to Zimbabwe to, to feel it and be part of it, and it exists, but it's hard to sell that, that magic across on this side. Uh, we're reaching a lot of kids on, on, a, on a shoestring model uh, in Zimbabwe. So our safe place is that we're inviting kids to come and play every day that needs real physical potholes filled. Uh, they need a gate. They need last month's electricity to be paid. They need, or we've got four ancient vehicles on the ground, and hopefully one or two of them are going at a time. Uh, it's, it's not fair on our operation there to not have the key things to, to get this important work done. This basket was on top of this white car, this white baby. We call her Kiki, the Corolla. Uh, it says Zimbabwe is a small country, so close to 3,000 kilometers, Kiki uh, was carrying this basket the whole time. Uh, but she was also seen better years, uh, to be honest. She's getting old, and you may also notice that she doesn't have plate numbers. Uh, as you can see, the big tire. This one is really <laughs> uh, quite scary, uh, very smooth. Uh, she needs uh, new shoes. In my view, uh, this is the kind of car we need to have. I hope so, bus. Yellow, <laughs> exactly like it was uh, when he left America. When we received this bus, uh, to us, uh, in Zimbabwe, it was confirmation that, you know what, Hoops of Hope International, Mark, Crandall, and everyone from everywhere, from all the four corners of the world that has been supporting us, this was a sign to us that said uh, Hoops of Hope was here to stay. So we didn't see that happen. And when we got out of the office in the afternoon, we discovered that this was shattered, this window was shattered. Uh, we need to replace it. Uh, just as much as we want to replace the plate numbers on the Corolla. But uh, our priorities list is very long. It's been very difficult. The past two years have been some of the most difficult two years in our, in our lives and in the life, in the life of Hope So Hope, Zimbabwe. And uh, you can imagine when Hope So Hope catches a cold, we are all coughing. Two provide hope. Uh, I feel honored. Um, and there's nothing more important in a situation like ours, in a country like ours, where sometimes things don't quite work the way they are supposed to. So to be the one who is providing that ray of light at the end of the tunnel, and to be the one providing hope is something that I'm really appreciative of. During the crisis, to see the number of kids that came through to our courts every afternoon and us having to do a bread, uh, banana or peanut butter sandwich for the kids that were spending the whole day maybe on one meal. We are touching well over 136 schools, you know, which is quite a huge number. Our people are excited about the ending of the year because now we are hosting our best of the best basketball tournament.
Back in DZ, the Hoops for Hope team was running programs with a smaller group. Even with no ball, they still find a way to practice. This is one life skill game they use to teach HIV awareness. One team passes a phone behind their back, and the other team must guess who has the phone. The phone represents having HIV and AIDS. Okay, can you raise up your hands? He doesn't have the phone. Okay, Mira, it's okay. He doesn't have it. We are relating this game to HIV and AIDS. What are some of the lessons that you may have uh, derived from this game? Derived? Honest. Be honest. Yeah. If, you, if you have a wife, you do not cheat uh, uh, by making another wife outside the house. Okay. It's all about trust, and it? You yes. can't trust a, a person or a girlfriend by just looking at it. One needs to be tested to, to, to see if one has HIV or not. And honestly, we need to know our status before we indulge, okay? Do your sport, play your sport every day, come to the basketball courts. For you guys, maybe condomizing will be the best. Maybe you have a girlfriend, but for your ages, it's better to abstain and not to indulge in sexual activities, okay? One, two, three, abstain! Francisca is just one, of, one hell of a girl who we think will get there someday, just like other people around here, but she's just one of a kind. She's young, she's good, and not to mention she's beautiful. Her future is going to be big. And I heard she's good at books, you know, education, she's good. So maybe she's going to be someone. Not maybe, she's going to be someone. That's the way down there. People should know, people out here, we close in like a cage, but then when we get there, we'll get there for real. And she's gonna get there, and I'm gonna get there. Everyone here is gonna get there. That's how we live our dreams. And a day in the life, it's gonna get us there. We have a big game against the Varsity. The Varsity are always that team that is always dying to beat the Raiders. So how, how do you prepare for a big game? A psycho, like getting to the venue, listening to music, that's how I prepare for my game. <laughs> As you know, um, it sounds one now. of the craziest players in Zimbabwe. They can't stop me. Took my heart away from money, I ain't interested in fame. And I pray that I never change. Ambition is priceless, it's something that's in your veins. And I put that on my name. Uh. Only hope I had was selling dope. Was on my grind because times was harder than the cell of flow. No, he danced, hey. Something else. Yeah, he's like LeBron James. That's why he puts on number six. My favorite player is the jam. And you? And me too, it's dummy. And you? Around as much as possible. Be patient on your play under control. Fuck you, bitch! I'm gonna pass, I'll be the cornerback. Me and Ballard and MMG gonna bring that one of them. I am best. Easy to dream, a dream, though it's harder to live. They gonna love me for my ambition. A dream, a dream, though what's harder to live. They gonna love me for my ambition. Easy to dream, a dream, though what's harder to live. They gonna love me for my ambition. It speaks for itself. Beautiful music, paint a picture, this be my vision. My ambition to win, just to get me some ends. Help me pay my little rent, maybe sit in the bins. I saw mama praying, as she wait on results. It was hot in the kitchen, can I wait on the porch? My father was missing, oh Lord, all of us. He did a dream, a dream, though what's harder to live? They gonna let me for my ambition. He did a dream, a dream, though 
dream a dream, no, it's harder to live. They gon' love me for my ambition. Easy to dream a dream, no, it's harder to live. With under 20 seconds left in the game, down by one, the Raiders get the ball into Tatenda's hands with one last chance to win the game. The ball rims out, and despite Tatenda's best efforts to get back and block the shot on defense, it is too little, too late and it's called as a foul, sealing the victory for varsity. After the tough loss, Tatenda would go home, eat, get some sleep, and get ready to start it all over again tomorrow. This was the day of my life. And now it's time for me to go to sleep. They gonna love me for my ambition. 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 People will, 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 will always say you're running on a shoestring budget, but with us, we're running on a shoeless and a stringless and a cashless budget. But we're making this happen, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's been a long day, man. It's been a long day. Cape Town is cold. It's winter. I gotta go to bed. On that note, I'm saying to you, on lights, camera, action, this is how we close day in a life. It's been a journey. Time is now. Time is now. Day in a life. Cause it's about love, peace, foundation, and family. Say, hey. It's bigger than you and me. It's about love, peace, foundation, and family. Say, oh. Hey, can I say something to my girlfriend? Uh. Oh! The, the, the somebody the somebody who once stole my heart it it's 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 on her even right now she's locked it up in her body I don't have a, right, a heart right now she kept it for me like, I love you baby I love you baby from the bottom of my heart I always will love you Yaniva Yatana baby Yeva Yatana Yan 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 I always will love you I love you baby
Foundation in hell.